Hello everybody. Long time no see. I have Austin with me. Hello. Um, I'm just gonna make a little update video here because I have not posted since I went and worked on Earth People slash sent Embrace the Martian. And uh, I was kind of slightly injured uh, then, but I was like not done climbing yet. I was still trying to climb. And now I've officially, I took like two full weeks off from climbing. Um, and I was like, I can still f try and find a way to make videos, but I didn't. Um, but we are now. So I have strained the cruciform pulleys, which are like the tiny little X pulleys that are in between like your A4, A2, the main ones. And I talked to uh, my buddy Justin, who is a climber here at Zenith, who I competed with the first year I competed. And he is a physical therapist full-time, and that's what he thought that I did. And he said, you probably, uh, like, irritated the sheathing, the synovial sheath, like, um, and that you can only really rest it. So, as with usual pulley uh, injuries, all you can really do is rest it and hope that it gets better. So I took two weeks off and then tried to climb again, and... The right one is fine now, but the left hand is still kind of annoyed, so I'm going to wait until in a couple weeks I'm going to Japan, and I'm going to try and climb at B-Pump, and I'm going to wait until then to climb again and hope, just let it heal as much as possible. But, that being said, I'm not just doing nothing. I've been doing an antagonist cycle in my little black book for the last, like, two, three weeks, and Austin has a kind of bum shoulder, so he's gonna join me for the antagonist cycle today and see how it feels. Are you psyched? Whoop. Let's do it. So as with anything, we're gonna warm up. First thing that we always want to do when we're warming up, whether it's for climbing or if we're doing like a training cycle, is to raise your heart rate and hopefully get your core body temperature up. So basically do anything that will make you start to sweat a little bit. Uh, we have some great options at Zenith. I like the rowing machine personally because it's kind of more full body. It at least engages your arms and uh, it engages your back a lot more than anything else, which is helpful, especially when since we're going to be doing antagonist stuff all day. All right, aerobic warm up done. Uh, we're going to move to some other warm up things. Basically, just a couple of the workouts that we're going to do, we're going to do them, but either without weight or with really low weight. And then your basic just like shoulder circles, stuff like that. If we had a resistance band, I would definitely use that, but I don't have a resistance band. These are reverse arm curls. It's one of the uh, workouts we're gonna be doing today. Uh, I like to do them with just the bar and no weight as a great warm up. My favorite thing about these is they really move your elbows through kind of the whole like, through the whole like range of motion and they kind of get blood flowing through the elbows and there's not a whole lot of great like elbow warm-ups except with resistance bands you can do some stuff uh, and that can help combat kind of climber's elbow or golfer's elbow or tennis elbow whichever one you want to call it they're all kind of the same um, which tends to happen in climbers who don't warm up well enough okay we're also going to be doing some forearm extensor workouts which means we got to warm the forearms up a little bit really nothing too hard I'm just going to like hang on the pull-up bar but by my fingers and not by my whole hand. Should get some blood going to my fingers a little bit more. I also like doing these. You kind of just like roll them up like that. That's a good way to warm your fingers up and you can roll them back down too. Just like that. Those are good. And then we're gonna warm up our wrists too because we're gonna be doing that. My favorite one for wrists is just do the ABCs. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Go through all of them, both hands, maybe do it twice because there's no weight or anything, so it can be kind of hard to get it going. The black book of workouts is open. Austin, what do you want to do first? Pick one. Ooh, we're doing eyes, T's, and Y's. Eyes, T's, and Y's? All right, let's head back down the stairs. Boom. This is pretty good form here. Wow, the white balance is all sorts off. <laughs> one sec. There we go. We were so close to the lights upstairs that it looked like generally okay but it is definitely it was definitely way off this looks so much better okay these are good make sure you're squeezing those uh, shoulder blades together on the way down 
Try to keep the arms generally straight and chest flat and don't throw your hips into them. That looks good. Shoulder press is next. Um, so we're doing three minute rest between sets and between workouts. Um, we're gonna try and pick a weight where we fail somewhere between 15 and 20 reps and we're gonna do two sets. And because we are working antagonist stuff, uh, because we're working antagonist stuff, we never want to do more than about 40% of our body weight because then we're just building more than we need and we're starting to get into you need power to do it and we don't really do that. We just want the strength so that our shoulders stay stable while we're climbing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you can do these standing or sitting. I prefer to do them standing, but that's just because when I do them sitting, my back starts to arch a lot and that's not really good form. And when I do them standing, it does that a lot less. So I prefer to do them standing. We do them with free weights because that will build more stability because you'll shake around in a more of a three-dimensional space than if you're holding onto a bar. my chest just starts to slowly come out more and more. So you wanna, within, within reason, if you start, if you can do one more, but it's just absolutely awful form, it's not worth it, just stop. So these are Waz, sorry it's blurry, I can't get it to focus for some reason. Um, but yeah, it's basically like T's, except you come a little bit more over your head and it should engage your traps a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. So now we're doing reverse arm curls. This one is really good to help like elbow stability and get rid of like climber's elbow. Um, it's not so much shoulders, it's mostly forearm antagonist muscles and kind of upper arm stability to keep your elbows in check. I do 15 to 20 reps and I add uh, 12 and a half on each side, but you just kind of kind of add weight and see where to start. It should be. For me, I usually do 20 in the first set and I fail like right after 15 on the second set. So I know that this is the right weight for me. And we do them on a, on a bent bar and you want to pronate your hands. So bend at the wrist. Nice, Austin. Looking good for your first set of these ever. All right, I'm gonna do these facing you so that you guys can see. You can come in a little bit, Austin. Uh, these are scapular pull-ups, and they're kind of hard to get the form right, and the range of motion is not very far, so it's kind of easy to do them wrong. So I suggest starting with your feet on something, a, like on a bench or like a box or something, so that you can really make sure you're getting the form right. And it might be kind of hard to see um, but I'm going to have Austin kind of move to the side so that you can see the right form. You're going to start kind of straight and then when you do the pull, your chest is going to kind of move up and get closer to being parallel with the floor, almost as if you're starting to do a front lever. This is like a good way to get your shoulders strong enough and get used to the position if you try and do a front lever. So I'll do, I'll do like... I think it says 8 to 12 in the book, so I'm going to shoot for 10. So what you focus on engaging here is this lower muscle right through here. Engage that. There. Alright, make sure you're really pulling those shoulders down. You don't want to just be rotating your chest forward. There you go, that's better. Good. All right, next is dips. These are pretty hard. We're gonna be doing them on the rings, which makes them a little bit harder, but uh, I shoot for pretty much eight, which is the lower limit. Uh, they're really hard at first, so until you've kind of got them down, you wanna just stick with eight. Don't do more until you like can do more. Uh, my biggest problem with these is making sure the rings are set in the right place. If they're too far out, you're gonna be trying to pull them in the whole time, which is really annoying. And if they're too far in, it's not as much of a problem because they just kind of bend around your arm. So 
and then you're going to get up on top of them like a gymnast. And what I do is rotate forward and drop down. First wrist curls, these are for the antagonist muscles in your forearms. Um, I have kind of weird elbows, so my hand can't really stay completely flat while I'm doing this, but I try my best. So what you're going to do is hang it so that your hand is out over your knee, and then you're going to do 20 to 25 reps the first set, and then the second set, add enough weight that you fail in between 10 and 15 instead. There you go, come on. So I've, you could probably tell, but the dumbbell was kind of angled the whole time. That's because of my weird elbows. Yours should be as flat as you possibly can. Well, that does it for this one, guys. Uh, hopefully that video doesn't end up being too long. That's my, that's what my training has been like for the past like two weeks while I haven't been climbing. Um, super bummed I can't climb, but when we are in Japan, I'm definitely going to go to B-Pump. Anyways, that does it. Uh, goodbye, guys.